Good morning, good morning everyone out there all over the world. This is Isha. Thank you so much for tuning in to House to House DI, Discipleship Institute. I just want to welcome all of you out there, all you new subscribers, all you uh, uh, that tuned in, listeners, all over the place. If you're in the field, if you're in the city, if you're wherever you are, I want to welcome you this day, okay? Greetings to all of you out there. As you know, all know, uh, uh, I'm Isha, and I'm here to share some encouraging words, some encouraging scriptures and psalms that uh, you know that I hear through my iPod. And uh, I thought I uh, I thought about what's going around the world right now, what's going on with uh, households, with uh, people, neighbors, everyone all over the place. Kind of want to share them with you, just in case you feel this way. Or you're in the place of, of feeling uh, what we're talking about, uh, you know, and uh, <clears throat> just want to let you know that uh, as we go through them, uh, I'll, st- I'll just say I have Elder Josh, of course, he'll read for us, and uh, he'll read scriptures, but I want you to ho- read the whole chapter for yourself, okay? And remember... Whenever you have a comment or you want to ask a question or some explanation, push the like and share button, subscribe if you want, the Isha button, okay? And let's pass this encouraging word that that got me and I wanted to minister to you also, okay? So we're going to start this morning. It might be morning for me, it might be noon for you or nighttime. You can... um, Tune in to Let Isha Speak, okay? Okay, so Elder, are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm going to say, uh, let's start. <clears throat> okay, we're going to start with Psalms 28. Because it talks about, you know, how we get to a place in our life where um, uh, you, we're thinking so much. Uh, we're thinking about our job. We're thinking about all kinds of things. And then uh, the world situation, the world chaos, we think about it and you can't get out of it and it's bothering you. And, you know, it goes more than one day and it keeps going and you don't understand it and you grab your head, you grab your head, whatever it is. But I want to go through, let's say, three verses out of Psalms 28. So come along with me. Come along. Let's listen to it. Let's see where where it's going to minister to us, okay? So let's start now so that you can hear the word. And then you can, um, if you want, like I said, you can comment. You can uh, send me uh, a comment. I'll respond back to you, okay? So are you ready? Yes, I am. Oh, please? Okay, go ahead. So it says in Psalms 28, verse 1. Okay, let's go. To you I will cry, O Yahuwah, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. All right. You know, we know that he is our God, our Yahuwah, that he is our a rock. He is our rock. He's the one that that picks us up, that encourages us, and, and he's there all the time uh, for us. But then we, we get into that place where we have so much worry, so much uh, entertaining the, the past that we get into that place that, can't you hear my cry? If he said, I can hear you, and we still tell him, can't you hear my, my cry, my supplication, what I'm saying? I need help. How can you help me? That I'm so weak, I can't even lift my hands up. You know? Do we, ever, do we get into that place? Oh, my goodness. When we hear all the news and all the chaos about what's happening around the world, and when, when we entertain thoughts from way back, that, you know, that we, we should have this or whatever it is, the chaos. When we get into that place, what do we do? We cry out to him, and then we think that he can't hear us. Oh, he hears you. He hears me. He's heard us. You know, this is when, when you're in that place that, oh, what am I going to do? You feel like you need a new beginning. Do you ever feel like that? Like you need a, a, a whole new beginning in your life. I don't want to go through this. 
Take me back so I can start anew. Well, in him you can and you will. My goodness, we should just raise up our hands and praise him and tell him, thank you that you are my rock. You You are my high tower. You You are, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the one that I call and totally lean on. I trust and rely on you that you will hear my voice when when we get into that place. Now, you can read that whole chapter and you can, if you're going through that, you can identify, identify what, what the first uh, three verses are saying. Can't you hear me? Oh, my goodness. I got a headache. I get a backache because I'm going through all this right now. We have to stop and trust in him. Okay? So let's go. Let's, uh, let's read uh, the verse in chapter 95. Chapter 95. Perfect. Uh, Psalms, I believe yeah. it is. Yeah. Psalms. Psalms chapter 95, verse 1, or verse 7, excuse me, says, For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Do you ever feel like that? Do you, uh, you know, when you read it, you, you know what it says there, that we are His people, and we are the sheep of His pasture? Do you ever feel like you're lost? Do you ever feel like you can't find that pastor? That you can't find him, you can't hear him no more, and you take off on your own, and you're entertaining your own thoughts and your own going, what you're going through in your head? You forget to raise up your hands and remember that he is the rock that will take you higher than anything? Have you, no really, have you you been there before? Or are you there right now? You know, we got to remember that he, You know, right now, the shepherd, the shepherd is calling you right now, the real shepherd, the shepherd of all shepherds that's going to lead you back to the pasture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you ever felt like that? A lost lamb. Ah, think about it. You think about it. Where am I, Yahuwah, right now? Am I in a place that I can't hear you? Am I in a place where I'm lost? Am I in a place that I, I can't get out of, this, out of this? Do you feel like, you know, you're 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 going down to the pit? You're getting uh, your your feet are, are are hurting. You can't make it no more. Listen, today, he is going to give you a new beginning. He is going to lead you back into that pasture. Hallelujah, well, you were here and follow him. Well, he, he will share his love and lead you to that water where you can rest. All right? Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Yahuwah. Oh, thank you, shepherd. Thank you that you will lead us back into the fold, back to that pasture where I have my rest, where I have my shalom with you. As my leader, my guide. Oh, thank you, Yakuwa. Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Shepherd. Thank you. Hallelujah. I want you to read that for yourself, like I tell you all the time, okay? Yeah, we're going to just uh, expound on those because that's so good. You know, sometimes we feel like that. Oh, we feel like that, but we're not to be that place. I'm telling you now. He says that we are the sheep of his pasture so today may i read that one more time yes please do says psalms 95 verse 7 once again says for he yahuwah is our god and we are the people of his pasture Come on. and the sheep of his hand hallelujah sheep of his hand he's the one that grabs you with his hand you know he picks you up he puts his left hand on your head and his right hand on your wool and takes you up and takes you back to the pasture. Ah, oh, he's wonderful. He's good. He's good to me and to you all over the world. Feel his presence right now. Feel his presence that he's touching you. He found you. He loves you. Yes, he does. 
Yes, he does. And he has not forgotten about you because he didn't. He went out to find you. So wherever you are right, right now, remember, he's going out right now and finding you. He saw you. Hallelujah. 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 Let's go to um, Psalms 100. Sure. So it's in Psalms 100. Yes, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalms 100, verse 1. Make a joyful shout to Yahuwah, all you lands. Serve Yahuwah <coughs> with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that Yahuwah, He is God. Ah, uh, come on. When He finds you, come on. Make a joyful noise because He picked you up and took you back to the fold. He took you back where you belong. Hallelujah. So make a joyful noise unto Him. Make a joyful sound. And come on, follow Him. Oh. Hallelujah. Continue, Continue on. I keep moving. <laughs> it says in verse 3, Know that Yahuwah, he is God. <clears throat> it is He who has made us and not we ourselves. Ooh. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Remember, He is the one that leads you. He is the shepherd. He will lead you into the pasture back again. Not yourself, because you can't find your way back. Don't let all those chaos and let all that just come and get you want doesn't wants to get you away from praying or, or or just worshiping him. So remember that <clears throat> that we didn't make ourselves. We don't have the the uh, the say so to say. Oh, I'm I'm going back. I can't find my way back, so I gotta go another way. No, he will lead you back. He will give you a new beginning. Hallelujah with him with us. Right. Hallelujah. So, I'm sorry, can you continue on? <laughs> I get my in it. You're fine. Oh. It says, verse 4, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. <laughs> Be thankful to him, and Baruch, in Hebrew, bless his name. <clears throat> For Yahuwah is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and... His truth endures to all generations. Oh, to all generation. Hallelujah. Isn't that good, everyone? Amen. So don't forget to turn <clears throat> to uh, chapter 100 and read the whole chapter. Read it to someone else and tell them, remember, it's not you. It's him, the shepherd. He'll lead you back. And you know what? This is going to give you a new beginning today. Oh, Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I pray that over you that today, hallelujah, that the moment that you opened your eyes there, oh, it was already set for you already. A new day for you, a new sound for him that you, you're glad that you're coming in through the gates back to the fold. You're coming into his courts with praise hallelujah. for he, hallelujah. 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 Get your strength back and know that today is a new beginning for you. You want it? You want it all over the world? Amen. Then thank him for it. Thank you, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Thank we you. thank you for this new beginning, Father. Thank we thank you, Yahuwah, that you're taking us through this dark place. But now you brought us back. Hallelujah. We found our way because you led us. You're leading us to it, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will cleanse you. Oh, he will love you, forgive you. Isn't that good? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you. We praise you, Yahuwah. For yesterday I was sick and today I'm fine because of you. Oh, my goodness. Come on, all over the place, all over the world. I don't know where, if you're sleeping or where you're at right now, you're driving. Thank him. Just Amen. think about him and thank him. How great he is. Hallelujah. It just... It, it just, oh, just reading about that we are the sheep of his pasture. We are the ones that he holds us with his hand. He leads. Oh, can you see that? He, he's just leading you back. He's leading you back and taking all of that dross off you and saying, no, you don't have to go there anymore. You don't have to worry about anything. He's taking that all off you. Hallelujah. He's giving you 
a clean, a clean what? Clean wall, clean thinking. He's giving you a new beginning. Think about it. And thank him. Thank him for that. Hallelujah. I wanted to share that with you today because I want you to receive it. Receive it in your heart and share it. Pass it on to someone else. Okay? Because right now, like we all say, it's up to you. Just know that he is hearing you. Okay? Amen. So when you read those verses that uh, I shared with you today, just know, Psalms 28, he hears your voice when you're crying. He hears you that you're out there and you're lost. So he went out to find you. You out there all over, all over. He found you. It's a new beginning for you this day. Okay? Amen. I'm going to leave you with that today. So take that to heart and read the chapters. Okay? So just, you know, if you, you like you like what, and you gleam today what was said to you, pass it on. And just push the like and share button and uh, send me a comment. Send it to Let Isha Speak. Let's talk, me and you, right? So I think I have, I think I want uh, Elder to uh, yes. read, is it chapter 7? I mean, verse 7? Uh, it was actually Psalms 100, verse uh, three, which three. is the finale. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, why don't you read that for us and um, we'll just see each other again, okay? So you all be uh, Baruch this day and have a shalom day. Think about it. Just think about it and what we spoke today this morning. Okay. Psalms 100 verse 3 says, Know that Yahuwah, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Come on. All right, then. I'm going to leave you now. So have a Baruch day till we see each other again. This is Isha saying to you, Shalom. Shalom.